Hey everybody and welcome back to 3COG. Uh, so really quick for my uh, YouTube overwatchers. Uh, I am a firearm safety instructor. I am in a safe environment and nothing in this video violates any of the policies on firearms, um, including magazine capacity or anything else. Standard capacity, 21 round mags, and uh, I'm not demonstrating anything that I'm not allowed to in accordance with the YouTube policy. All right, so this is my tabletop review of the CZ P10F. Um, so this is it in its box. This is what it comes with. You've got a cleaning rod and bore brush. Two standard capacity 21 round magazines. Interchangeable back straps. Your standard lock and owner's manual. The pistol itself. And it actually comes with a snap cap. So snap cap with interchangeable uh, primer piece. So that's pretty nice. Uh, snap caps are a really good training tool and are very, very good for uh, function check and just safe training with a firearm. So link below to where you can pick those up. All right, so onto the pistol itself. First things first, as always, verify the weapon is clear. I'm gonna drop my magazine out. Lock my slide to the rear, look up inside the chamber, and it is definitely clear. So, like I said, two 21 round standard capacity magazines. That's awesome. I really like the uh, bright orange follower from a safety point of view because it's very, very obvious when it's inside the weapon that, yep, orange follower, no ammo. So that's nice. Okay, so features of the P10F, it has a threaded barrel, half by 28, suppressor height sights, reversible um, mag release, so right now it's set up for right hand, but it can be changed to left hand, ambidextrous slide release, so on both sides, <clears throat> it's got your standard rail on the bottom for light laser, whatever you want to run. So... Overall, it's a very, very nice handgun. Uh, talk about one of the major positives right off the bat, and that is the trigger. The trigger on this is very, very nice. So here's the trigger. Here's the take up. This is all clean. It's consistent, and then it hits the wall. And there's the brake. So that's about four and a half pounds. That's pretty nice. And then ease out. There's my reset. That's all it is. And another brake. So, very, very nice trigger. I like the shape of the trigger as well. Um, it's not quite flat faced. It's almost a flat trigger. Um, has the trigger safety right there. That's it's a very nice trigger. The reset's very, very nice as well. Other positives. These sights are pretty darn good. Um, your eye is definitely drawn to that front sight, which is great. They are night sights from the factory, which is great. And they are obviously suppressor height sights. So all positives there. I was concerned about the uh, curve profile here as far as one hand manipulation goes <clears throat> and being able to hook this on your belt, your holster or whatever to be able to run the slide one handed. Um, and I was worried that that contour was a little bit too rounded, but it works perfectly fine. So you can definitely hook this onto whatever and be able to run your slide one-handed. So good job on that CZ. It has texture. So it's not really stippling. It's just texture. And it's got larger squares on the sides of the weapon. And then smaller squares on the uh, back and front of the weapon. And it does a pretty good job of keeping the weapon locked into your hand. Um, not bad at all. Additionally, it's got your pattern up here on the sides of the frame which you can use as a reference point or almost as like a gas pedal area for your thumb all right so things i don't like about it <clears throat> it's a little too thick right here um just a little bit I, it, it just needs just a, just a little bit smaller right here to feel really really good um, i have large man-sized hands and I don't know who would need the interchangeable back straps, like how big your hands would have to be to require that, because this is already a very large pistol. 
Um, yeah. <clears throat> so overall, it's a it's a really nice pistol. I'm a big fan of large framed uh, polymer nine mil pistols for the capacity you get. The shootability of a large frame is just so much more pleasant than uh, a lot of the compacts or subcompacts. Um, so as I said, it is threaded half by 28 and it has this thread protector. Only issue I have with this is anytime you're running a thread protector like this, you want an O-ring at the bottom. And that's a safety concern because if you are shooting this and this comes free, you could wind up, I mean, you know, best case scenario, it just falls off. Worst case scenario is it hangs, causes, a, and then you get a bullet strike on it or something like that. So O-ring, just go get an O-ring. I'll leave a link below and uh, crush it down onto an O-ring and that'll keep it from backing off while you're shooting. So overall, pretty nice handgun. Um, you know, the trigger is outstanding, which is, you know, what it, it's supposed to be. Uh, it's a very, very nice trigger. You've got the traditional low bore access to the CZ. It feels good. <clears throat> recoil impulse. <clears throat> recoil impulse is mild. Uh, it's a very, very shootable, um, nine mil handgun. So thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you next time on 3COG.